So in this video, we're gonna use this wind menu and we're gonna do this top one that says wind. We'll click here, click enter. Now on this one, this is when you wanna find the wind direction and wind speed when you have things like course, true airspeed, ground speed, and heading. There's actually a question like this on the FA written and it's pretty tricky. If you, ha if you remember what that wind function does in your electronic E6B, you can make it pretty easy. All you have to do is enter in these these things that the question is going to give you. You may have to calculate one or two of them a different way, but on your uh, paper E6B, I have a video about this, but you're going to have to kind of do some, a little bit of mental logic to kind of back out and work backwards on the wind side of the E6B. So it's a little more difficult. This makes it a lot easier as long as you remember what it is it's doing. So the first thing it wants, of course, we'll use a hundred. So we'll enter one zero zero and then click enter for true airspeed we'll do 115 so we enter that in hit enter then it wants a ground speed and again we'll do 135 here and hit enter and then it wants a heading we'll do a heading of 105 so we know our heading we know our ground speed we know our true airspeed and we know our course then when we hit enter that's going to give us the wind direction and wind speed it's sort of like using that wind side of the E6B, except usually we know the wind direction, wind speed. So it's kind of doing it a little bit in reverse with different ingredients that we have. So it says the wind direction is 253.9 and the wind speed is 22.8 or 23 knots. Now, does this make sense? So if we're flying a course of 100 and our wind direction is at 253, that's 150 degrees off. So that's almost 180, that's that's a tailwind for us right there. So that's gonna add to our true airspeed of 115. If So the wind speed of 23, it's gonna add about, you know, maybe a little less than 20 knots. So a ground speed of 135, that's 20 knots. So yeah, it's uh, it makes sense because we have that t tailwind. So it's gonna increase our ground speed by about the, the amount a little bit less than our wind speed because it's not a true tailwind but it is it is a pretty sizable tailwind and then our heading's not going to change much because it's almost a tailwind right so it's not a crosswind so it's not going to change our heading too much from our course so that five degrees makes sense as well